Today we're going to learn about oblique asymptotes. So an oblique asymptote occurs when the degree of the numerator is one more than the degree of the denominator. So for example, this function here, the degree of the numerator is 2 and the degree of the denominator is 1. And since 2 is 1 more than 1, this function will have an oblique asymptote. To find the oblique asymptote, we will divide. So we'll have x plus 1 into x squared minus x. And I'm going to put a 0 for my constant. We divide. x squared divided by x is x. Multiply x times x is x squared plus x, subtract. We get negative 2x, I'll bring down the 0. Then negative 2x divided by x is negative 2. We multiply, and we get a remainder of 2. Now for the oblique asymptote, we only look at the quotient. We don't care about the remainder. So the oblique asymptote for this function is y equals x minus 2. Okay, let's look at another function with an oblique asymptote. We'll use 5x cubed minus 8 over x squared plus 3x minus 1. Now notice the degree of the numerator is 3, the degree of the denominator is 2. So we do have an oblique asymptote and we will find it by dividing. So we've got 5x cubed, I'm going to put in a 0x squared a 0x and then the minus 8. So we divide 5x cubed divided by x squared is 5x. We multiply, we get 5x cubed plus 15x squared minus 5x, subtract, and bring down. Divide again, negative 15x squared divided by x squared is negative 15. Multiply, we get negative 15x squared minus 45x plus 15 and subtract. Now this is our remainder, which again doesn't matter to us. Our oblique asymptote is going to be y equals just the quotient. So we get y equals 5x minus 15.